better right now. It's really crappy out, actually. And I'm here by myself. It's just me and you, and we're doing this. I actually wasn't going to be do doing this today. I wasn't going to be doing this at all, really. I felt kind of bummed after my last live because it had the least amount of views since I started my channel, really. But I had some very, very sweet people talk me into still doing what I'm doing, so thank you for that, and I'm here. And, as you can see, we've got two canvases in front of us. I think I'm crazy for it, but it's not my fault, and it's not because I'm like mega ambitious or anything like that. It's because I got my shipment of just resin colors in last night. Um, they're all the way from Australia. They're amazing. Have you guys seen these colors? Like, how does one choose? I spent more time trying to figure out what colors I was going to do today than any of the prep. So, I figured because it's kind of rainy and gloomy out and I'm all by myself, we're going to go with, and I've got the blues theme. Alright? So, as far as these go, for the prep, I've had a lot of questions as far as how I prep my canvases. Um, Give me one second. How I prep my canvases so that they don't blow out in the middle with the, um, oops, I can hear myself. There we go. All you need to do is this, you take your um, canvas out of the packaging, just use some 220, um, gosh, I can't think of the word right now, <laughs> sanding paper or use one of these blocks. You can get them at Home Depot or, Leo, or Lowe's or any hardware store. And just sand it, down, sand it down lightly and then spray paint and then sand it out again and then spray paint again. And it should, you hear that? It should sound like that. Um, always make sure your canvases are level, as level as they can be. Um, I just use Solo Cups to hold mine up if you haven't seen any of my last episodes. My dog's distracting me, I'm sorry. Um, all right, so for this first one, we're gonna go with Steel Pigment Powder by Artisu, with Blue Sapphire by Just Resin. How pretty is that? We're gonna go with Blue Diamond by, Ar by Just Resin. And Platinum by Just Resin. And I'm excited for that second one. I'm still going to keep to some blues. We're going to go with, I can't really say that, so there. It's a blue. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Also pretty blue. And I figured I'd throw in a, a pop of color in there. And this is Saffron. Orange is my personal favorite color, so. I'm also going to throw in some Pearl White by Artisu. All right, which one should I start with first? Uh, for those of you that follow my Facebook page, Vibrant Expressions 1209 on Facebook, or even on Instagram, same exact thing. I do suggest you follow, Brady, stop. I do suggest you follow me on Facebook versus Instagram because a lot of the videos that I post are like upwards of a minute and Instagram cuts that down to like 30 seconds, 40 seconds or something like that. And, um, uh, hi, what's up, Jean? Uh, is what the glass, huh? None of this is glass. We're not working with glass today. The glass was last weekend. Um, but for those of you that do follow my Facebook page, I've, I'm trying to get a bunch of samples ready for a countertop dog. My first one, I'm incredibly nervous for it. So I'm trying to practice, practice, practice. Um, these are the two samples I've come up with. That's one. This is the second one. People seem to love this one a lot more than this one so far on Facebook, but I gotta try and see, see what works, you know? When it comes to countertop samples, I've been using their torch because they say that that's the right thing to use. Um, when it comes to my art, I tend to stick to my heat gun because I get to actually spread the colors around where I want them to go. 
the, the torch doesn't do that. So. Hi, Terry, what's up? Looks like beet sand, yeah. Well, hopefully they come up with the reason why I spray painted. Okay, let me, let me go over that first. So, when it comes to spray paint, I don't follow any rules. Looks like this. I just kind of go nuts with it and put it wherever. This one's black and silver. Um, this is what I used. Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic. Then I've got Rust-Oleum Seaside. It's a very pretty color. Rust-Oleum Brilliant Blue. Very pretty color. And a flat black. They do say when it comes to prepping your canvases, flat is the best. And the reason for that is because it dries off really, really nice and non-sticky. And you will notice that the blues get a little bit stickier and tackier, even if they're dry. But it hasn't bothered me enough to not use it. So, which one should we start with? I don't know. All right. We're working with Stone Coat Art Resin, of course, because they're the bestest. I got to use their countertop resin on my samples. Really good stuff, and I still have yet to use their, their quick dry one. Um, I already poured eight ounces of one part in here just to kind of cut down on the, on the prep time. I'm so nervous today, I don't know why. I say we go with this one first. Thanks for coming and watching me, guys. That's awesome. I feel the love. I'm sorry you're having computer problems. I hate that. I'm so bad at computers that whenever something happens, like even this videoing thing and YouTube live and everything, it stresses me out. I think that's why I get so nervous like right before I go live. I'm like, oh my God, what if something happens? What if it goes wrong? And I've had so many glitches that it sucks. So I hope you get your problems fixed afterwards. So for those of you that don't know me personally, um, I've been in the manufacturing and aerospace business industry, rather, for uh, the last 15 years of my life. But at the end of this year, I will no longer be doing any of that. And I will be doing solely this. Art is literally going to be my life. So let's hope it all goes well. And let's hope I have the, the, the support and the buyers and the interest and all of that. I want to get into countertops, I want to get into bar tops, I want to get into all of that and, and still do my art. So, fingers crossed for me, guys. Thanks for being here, Jean. It means a lot. It really does. You know what? I do have my computer up. Let me see if I can make you a moderator, Jean. I was told that as long as I do it on a like a regular computer, I should be able to. Come on. Cooperate. <clears throat> I think I have the slowest computer on the block for sure. Terry, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay strong. Make it happen. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, it does work on here. Add moderator. G 
have like a, a blue wrench next to it or something and if anybody comments anything naughty or not nice on here you should be able to block them. It comes in handy when there's like more people watching and I can't keep track of. Jean we can always have you come over and make your own custom piece with me. We can go live and everybody can see you make your own. That's always an option. All right, am I ready? I'm not ready. Do you see the little blue wrench and, and your name should be blue when you comment now? Do you see the difference? <laughs> it would be fun though, Jean, to make your own piece. I encourage anybody that's local to me to come on one of my lives Make their own pieces. You get to take them home with you. And you know you made them with my help. I think it would be cool. Alrighty. Since I do have a dark background, I am going to be adding a little bit of the um, stone coat base white just to, to pop out those colors. So what I realized is normally I used to go in with like either white or black and then put all my colors on top of it. Like, this one for example or that one but people seem to really like this last piece that I did in which in which I spray painted the background and then I just went in with clear and then pop the colors on top because they could see like all the movement and the cells developing and stuff like that and it was really cool so fingers crossed we're gonna try to replicate that again today and hopefully it, it acts cool I will bring you guys in closer don't you worry I get my stuff mixed. I am excited because I was going to do this piece today. A friend of mine gave it to me. It's amazing. How cool is that? I just didn't get the chance to prep it on time for today's episode, but I will be doing it next weekend. I also have a little table that a friend of mine gave me and trusted me with it. Um, <laughs> Play nice, everybody. <laughs> um, and I might be doing that on next weekend's episode. If not, I was contemplating going live on, on my YouTube channel and just, like, not YouTube, I'm sorry, my Facebook channel and trying to do it that way. But I've never gone live there and I don't know how it works. So, I don't know, might do that. We'll find out in the future. I hope this comes out awesome sauce because these colors are just unbelievable. I was so excited last night when I got my shipment of Just Resin inks that I literally cut my finger opening the box because I was so excited. So, got a little boo-boo. They're so gorgeous. Just look at that. Look how rich that is. How amazing is that? He is a nice one. He really is. He's been great to me. Pretty. I just want to like take these and like just do my walls in my house. That'd be awesome. The reason why I like doing that, like I said, with the with the my stubbler. Like I said, I need to hire somebody just to come touch the screen and make sure it's clear. Um, like I was saying, the reason why I like doing the spray paint and then the clear and then the color on top is because you, you truly get the feeling like there's 
so many layers to the painting. I heard GoPro would work wonderfully. They've got like the best cameras. They're clear, they don't, they don't do this fuzzy stuff that mine keeps doing. So it should be perfect. I have that camera that I used, I don't know, two episodes ago, and the camera itself is great, but my tablet literally timed out 45 minutes into it, and then, I don't know, another 10 minutes into it, and it was, just, it was so distracting for both me and you guys. Terry, where are you from? I like to mix in a powder with the paste or the inks. Because when all the colors touch each other and they're made out of like different stuff, they create really cool stuff happening. Okay. Oh, some white. I'm excited about this. I hope it comes out good. excited to do my friend's little table. Nervous, but excited because he's had it for a very long time and it's been with him through some really hard times, but also through some really good times. And he has trusted me with not messing it up. So I'm excited, but nervous. Um, I think I'm going to do my first like real beach scene on it. I've done beach scenes in the past with black sand look. Um, I think I'm going to give him that Florida brown sand and all of that. Canada? That's so awesome. I haven't been to Canada before. I, I went to Canada actually in the first year I was here when I moved to the United States from Romania. That was back in 2008. Um, Canada's beautiful. And they got a lot of Romanians there. I do know that. So yeah. We'll see how that table turns out. Part of me wanted to do it off camera just in case I have to do like another layer, but I think he wants to see it. So just gotta bite the bullet and do it. Oh my God, Terry, I can't even pronounce that, but okay. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Saskatchewan, right? I think I said it right. I've seen it on TV before. Oh, guys, this blue. Holy moly. How freaking gorgeous is that? This one, too. I should just like sit next to the camera and mix them so that you can. That's just like, wow. Alright. I think these two are a little too close to each other in color, but we'll see what happens. The, um,. The platinum and the steel. We shall see. Isn't it gorgeous? And now, for the serious business part. 
This is like the hardest part of the job is just getting the gloves on. <laughs> Is that good? That should be good. Is that too low? That's too low. Hang on. I'm sorry. Darn it. Well, that was painful for you. clear action. Hopefully this builds that layered look. I didn't go over the mixing process in this one and I didn't go over the cup thing, but if you're new and you're watching, my first two episodes talk all about that. I do have some glitter today, guys, because I did make a, a cool glitter black night piece a little while ago that people were absolutely in love with, so I might use it today. We'll see how I feel about it. See how it goes. And as far as people wanting to know where people get glitter from, if you're in the United States, Halloween is right around the corner, and they have glitter everywhere for sale, so I would stock up on it. Like, this is the time of the year to do it. The stone cold resin is so amazing. Can't say enough about it. And if you've ever worked with them or had any issues or anything like that, their their customer service is incredible. All of them are so nice. I'm actually tempted to go over there to where their studio is or whatever you want to call it and, and make a piece with Mike. I think that would be amazing. Trick. 
I kind of like it just the way it is. I say we leave it. Just kidding. All right. I don't know. I'm just going to test it out. You know me. I just wing it. Oh, this blue. I hope it pops. So beautiful. Guys, that's so pretty. You see that? Not really, huh? Don't worry, I'll bring you in at the end. That's absolutely stunning. try to leave some like empty spaces, some negative space, so that we're still able to see the background through it. I do like that. Oh, so pretty. I'm so excited. Did you? I would love to see pictures. Send me pictures of your countertop. What colors did you use? Were you nervous? Because I'm so nervous to, to do my first one. I mean, I guess it's not so bad when it's your own. How long ago did you do that countertop, Terry? Gosh, you guys see this? It's awesome sauce. Let's try just blue. A little bit right here. White kind of likes to take over, I'm noticing. So, What, 
Thanks, Jean. You guys see this background space, which is the underneath? It's pretty. This greenish blue is really nice too. I forget what it was called. The blue diamond. It's got like a green tilt to it, tint to it, but it's really nice. up in the house right now. Buna ziua ce faceți? Bine ați venit! If it's your first time watching my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching. And if it's, if you're a repeat watcher, I truly thank you. You are so appreciated by me. Makes me happy when People are happy seeing me make this beautiful art. Oh, blue, violet, silver, and pearl sound amazing. I definitely, you gotta send me pictures. I wanna see it for sure. Colors move. I love knowing this. Trust me, I'm on a I'm on a stone coat um, countertop video watching like thing. Like that's all I'm watching right now, and I still don't feel like I'm prepared enough. They make it look so easy. Binge watching, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you guys for talking to me so I don't feel like I'm over here talking to myself the entire time. It's kind of nice. That's so awesome, Jean. I still have yet to go to the Bahamas, man. Maybe the four of us can take a trip there one, one of these days. That would be awesome. What to do here? Hmm. It's going with some silver. I really like this green. I just wish it popped a little more. That blue. He's like, I am the king of this party and I'm taking over. But you can't blame it because it's so gorgeous. Sprinkle, sprinkle, just a touch. And these bare spots. I 
That'll make it pop a little more. I think that's good. Not not overly crazy. As I say that, I'm like still sprinkling. All right, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna stop. It is gorgeous, isn't it? God, I wanna show you guys like really clear. It's pretty, right? I'm gonna put you back in here for a minute while I mix the other one. Hi, we're back. All right, I'm gonna move you guys over here. Okay, so for this one, as I said before, but in case you mixed, missed it, I'm gonna put in a bubble color, saffron. We're going to stick with blue, but we're going to go with... This is actually called Breakfast at Tiffany's. How awesome is that? And what a great color. This is a blue I cannot pronounce. So there you go, because I don't want to mess it up. And this is a pearl white by Artisu. God, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be hard to let go, man. That's so pretty. All right. Jean, as far as the black light goes, they actually make paints, like glow in the dark paints that actually look cool. I don't think these would do anything special under a black light, but I have one and I can try it and let you know what happens. Oh, please, Terry, I'm gonna go crazy overboard with my tape and plastic when I do it because it's not even my kitchen, so I'm not trying to mess up any, anybody's stuff. But I am excited to do it. I just want them to be happy with the design. Um, I've seen a lot of people post their countertop pictures on, on the Stone Coats page, and a lot of them look like, wow. A lot of them look like uh, <clears throat> marble and this and that, and I kind of like putting an artistic spin on mine. I just need my clients to like that as well. <laughs> if not, I'll go with the marble. All right. I can technically still use this white. It's still good. Okay, look. So, on to number two. What was I thinking? Yeah, sure, I'll do two projects on a day when I'm by myself. Crazy girl. I'm trying not to get risen on my tablet as we speak. It would be so cool if I could actually hear you guys. Can you imagine? That would be so awesome. Also, I'm still waiting for somebody to invent a heat gun with no sound. Okay. Mix this. I did um I did 16 ounces for each of these and I got to tell you it was way more than I needed. But I always get scared that I'm not going to have enough and that I'm going to have to sit here and mix it while you guys are waiting patiently because you guys are the best. But I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to, I'm just going to make more and then whatever I have left over after I close this, I've got a few um, 
like letters and stuff I can make with them and, and silicone molds. If you hear my doggy crying outside, he really wants to be a part of this. Do I clear coat over the finished piece? David, no I do not because the resin is self-leveling and it's, it's going to end up like glass. I don't really see the need to in an art piece. Now, if you're doing a carbon top or something like that, then yes, absolutely, you should, you should definitely clear coat. But with art pieces, they, they come out glass. And it's not like you're going to put wear and tear on them on a daily, so there's really not any need. So you want to glow in the dark piece? Is that what you're saying, Jane? I haven't made one yet. I uh, ordered some paints on Amazon, and when they got here, they were like the tiniest little amount of mica powders that were supposed to be glowing in the dark. They just weren't enough to really make it pop. You can barely see it when I turn on the black light. By the way, welcome, David. Thanks for joining us. I know Saturdays at 5, I'm not really sure what time it is where you are, but here, Saturdays at 5 o'clock, is not the most greatest time to do it. But um, I can't do Sundays because I don't want to get you guys used to Sundays, and then football season is on full swing, and... We have a Green Bay Packer fan, a Patriots fan, and a Jets fan living under this roof. So Sundays are literally a holiday for us, football-wise, so I can't, I can't do that. I'm, I'm the girl with the beer in hand screaming at the TV as it's happening. So in case we lose, I don't want to come on alive and just be mad. <laughs> so. Oh, that sounds cool, Terry. So that means you got that, that layered look we were talking about. Again, send me all of this. Put them, drop them on comments. And then on Thursdays on my Vibrant Expressions 1209 page on Facebook, Thursdays are for I want to see your art. And just drop it all in there. I want to see it all. I'm excited. This, all of it sounds so awesome. You guys inspire me. So it's a two-way street. You can get a good drop, like dropped in clear resin with, with the inks. The, the one thing that I'm not a fan of that I've heard is they're so beautiful when you first make them. And don't get me wrong, I used to, I used to use them because I started out making coasters. And the ink, is it looks unbelievable, but they do fade over time. So it's almost like pointless. I'm not really sure how long it takes to fade, but they do fade. Except for the... Um, Bombay inks that I use. I heard those, those are pretty good. I can't tell how many people are watching, but whoever's watching, if you're here and you like this and you would like to see more videos, please do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up for me. Please. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Hopefully this comes out neat. I'm excited to see that orange. I know not a lot of people are orange fans. It is my, my favorite color. My second favorite is sapphire because it's my birthstone. By the way, my birthday is coming up next month. What, what? I might do a special live with you guys. We'll see. Um, if you weren't here from the beginning, next weekend, I didn't get a chance to prep this before I went live today or I would have done it today. But next weekend, I am going to be covering this up, which is amazing. A friend of mine gave it to me. And I can't wait. And then I can put it outside on my patio and it's gonna look it's gonna look great. Oh thank you, David. Thank you. Yes, they are spray painted. So oh wait, my camera. 
I think it just likes to like make me stand up for no reason, and then it clears itself out. Um, I did. I spray painted them first, like I was saying in the beginning. Get you one of these. It's a sanding block. This is a 220. You can get them at different grits, but 220 works best for, for canvas. Sand it not too, too much. Like you don't want to take off the whole thing. Just sand it a little bit, clean it, spray paint, um, let it dry, sand it a little bit more, and then spray paint again, and you should be golden. But as far as this, the black and silver is Rust-Oleum black, flat, Rust-Oleum silver. And the other piece we made, if you missed it, is Rust-Oleum brilliant blue and seaside. It just gives it like a nice 3D effect if you don't cover the entire area with color. Because you can see like different layers in it and stuff. What kind of dog do I have? Um, I've got two. I've got two big boys. One is six years old, one is one year old. They're both um, rescues. One's a pit boxer and one, I have no freaking clue. <laughs> He's big and long, and I call him my miniature horse, and I don't know, he's got like five different breeds in him. I'm tempted to DNA test him, but not sure yet. But Brady and Jake. Jake's the little one. I mean, I'm sorry, Jake's the older one. Jake's a good boy. Brady has uh, cost me a lot of money for a cheap dog. I've lost so many shoes. <laughs> But yeah, they're both amazing. If it was up to me, I'd literally have like 10 dogs, but I'm only allowed two. My fiance said if I bring another one home, I can't have another one. <laughs> I actually waited six years to get my second one, so I think I did pretty good on that. Wait till I show you guys these colors, man. This blue almost looks black. The one I can't pronounce. It's like a very dark green blue like a foresty type of thing. Sorry, I'm like hiding all this behind here. I don't have space, man, I don't have space. I normally work outside. If you haven't watched my lives yet, my whole get up is out there, but being in Florida, it rains like every five freaking minutes. So anytime I would go live on weekend, all you're gonna hear is the rain in the background, or the dogs, or the bugs, or something. So I figured I'd spare you all that and literally go through the two hour setup process every single Saturday and set you up in my, in my dining room. So that is why I appreciate you guys checking in because I, I, I put a lot of effort into it. Oh. Guys, this orange, my gosh. How pretty is that? This is the breakfast at Tiffany's Bow. Very pretty. It's almost like a uh, like a sea foam color.
That's that other blue. It's very dark, but I really like it. If you guys are here by accident, <laughs> um, my Facebook page is Vibrant Expressions 1209. I also have an Instagram, also Vibrant Expressions 1209. Um, I'm not a huge fan of posting on Instagram because when it comes to videos, it cuts them very short. And I tend to post videos of me making the artwork lately. And so we're talking four minute videos that once I post them on Instagram, you see like 30 seconds and everybody's like, I wanna see the rest, I wanna see the rest. And I'm like, over Facebook. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's out of my control. Alrighty. Let's do this. I don't know about this color combination, but hopefully it's not too bad. Therapeutic. So if you've never tried it, you should. It's amazing. The reason why I heat it up before I spread it is because one, it gets the bubbles out, and two, it makes spreading it a lot easier because it becomes more movable. <laughs> Whatever the word is. I swear I can English. I may be Romanian, but I've been in the States for, shoot, for more, more than I was in Romania. I'm 32, been here since 1999. And I swear, there's still words in both languages, not just English, that I'm like, what's it called? What's it called? I just realized, Terry, that earlier I told you I went to Canada in 2008. I lied. I went to Canada in 1999 when I came here. I moved to Florida from Connecticut in 2008. That just came to me. This is the part where I should have some like soothing background music or something. Like I said, if you're watching this and you're local to South Florida and you ever want to come, even if you don't want to be part of a YouTube live, if you ever want to come over and just make your own piece with me, I'm totally down for that. I think it would be a lot of fun. I love teaching people and I just think it would be a very proud moment to make your own piece and, and, and hang it on your wall. A struggle, y'all. A struggle. Here we go. 
Again, I never have a plan. I wing it. Nine times of ten, out of ten, I get lucky with it. The other times, I just don't show you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. You guys are supposed to be in here. How much resin does it take to make one piece that size? Um, like I said earlier, I made 16 ounces for this piece. It's too much. You would be golden with 12 ounces. But I just get nervous that it's not gonna be enough, so. Let's see if I can bring you guys in with this one without moving you too much and giving you motion sickness. Does that work? Is that good? That's pretty. Oh my gosh, that dark, that dark blue. It's nice, guys. It's really nice. I know some of you might be like, eh, orange, but trust me on this one, okay? Need some kind of contrast. So, I'm giving you contrast. What do you guys think so far, huh? Can you roll with this? Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you're here, please, and thank you. It would mean a lot. I'm here every Saturday at 5 p.m., my 5 p.m. in Florida. Um, till the end of the year, and then once the end of the year happens, since I'll be doing this full time, I can actually start going live pretty much any day during the week. I'll, I'll try. That's dope. I like that a lot. Those colors ended up mis mixing well together after all, huh? I was just a little nervous. That white's like, let me up, let me up. Mm -hmm. 
One's the Stone Coat Base White, and the other one is the Pearl White by uh, Artisu. In case you're wondering why I got two whites going down. And then the other colors are all just resin. Yes, that's the reason for the heat gun, to, to keep it easy to spread. <laughs> One second, this heat gun like, likes to twist as I use it, the cord, and then it just falls. Alright. This is pretty. There's like a lot going on. I like it though. If you guys ever want to see any particular colors, just hit me up on my Facebook page and tell me what you would like to see and I'm willing to try them and make some, some awesomeness happen right in front of you. I think I gotta work with some like, just greens soon. I've, 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 done, a lot of, I've done a lot of blues, done a lot of black and reds. I think it's, it's time for some green. Should I cover the silver up? Hmm. Let's see. I like seeing the canvas, but it was just too much. but I like it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh. Hopefully you fixed the laptop problems, but I'm glad you're still here. Thanks for not giving up on me, Terry. I think that's good. What do you guys think? There's a lot happening in this one too. Let's see.
If that made you dizzy, I'm sorry. <laughs> So that's it, folks. That's all I got. And you know the drill. Um, tomorrow, when they're dry, I think we made some friggin' awesome pieces together, if you ask me. And yes, you guys are part of it. Totally part of it. Uh, tomorrow, when they're completely dry, I will post pictures, Vibrant Expressions 1209 on Facebook and Instagram. Um, thank you. That is a nice color mix. And I got resin on my tablet. Ha! Awesome. I'll clean it. <laughs> but, yes. Check my page out. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Tell everybody. Okay? Because I'm excited. And like I said, this is all I'm going to be doing from now on. And I have, I have high hopes for it because it is my passion. My absolute passion. I've done art my entire life in, in one form or another. And this is the one that really makes me happy. So, please, thumbs up follow, turn on your notifications. Hopefully I'll see you back here next weekend. To those of you that are returning watchers, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, Terry, I want to see those pictures. Send me those pictures. I want to see your countertop. I want to see your pieces, all of it. I'm excited. Jean, let's talk about what piece you want. You want glow in the dark? We'll make it happen, babe. So I will see you guys next Saturday. And in the meantime, I'm on Facebook. Bye.